Hi, I'm Brett and I work here at CBC News and today we're gonna make some toast. Well, that was easy. But let's back up. Well, we're actually gonna talk about making a video about making toast. I'll show you some of the techniques that we use to make that toast video you just saw and teach you how you can use the tools that you already have to start making high quality videos right now. Probably the most important part of your video is the story. You should try to tell a story with a beginning, middle, and end, and talk about something that you like or you know a lot about, because that enthusiasm will come out in the video. Try to pick a location that's nice and bright and pretty quiet. I'm here in the CBC kitchen, and it has these big windows. Now let's talk about those. It's easy to make a good-looking video, but unfortunately even easier to make a bad-looking one. And lighting plays a big part in that. Right now, I'm facing the light, in this case the windows, but if I take the camera and spin it around, the shot doesn't look as good. So remember that when you're making your videos. Remember, your microphone is good at picking up sound close up, but as you move farther away, the quality quickly drops. Hold your camera steady to avoid shaky video. In this case, I asked Robert to help. Let's say, hi, Robert. Hi, Robert. It, you can also put your camera down someplace safe to shoot the video yourself. To make the toast video interesting, I chose some unique shots. For example, to shoot over top of the toaster, I put my phone in the microwave. Remember, you don't need fancy equipment to make a great video. In fact, every shot in this video was recorded and edited on this phone, which means you can do it too. So get out there and make some delicious videos.